Hello, hello, and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. My name is Mighty High, and in today's video, we have block swapping on our ha heads. Yes, indeed, I am going to show you how to build a block swapper. But first, let's show you how I got into this before I show you the design. So, the other day in Minecraft, I was wondering how you build a block swapper. Primarily just for a couple of blocks because I was just interested in how the mechanics work and I came across this cool design here I really couldn't tell you who came up with this design first I think mumbo jumbo have, has used this design a couple of times as well So yes, and this is really quite simple as well So it's literally just a couple of pistons and then we've got some redstone torches on the back there so then this got me thinking, what blocks could we use, like the stone cutter and the crafting table, to that can actually be moved with a piston? And then I came across these seven blocks in particular, which are actually really useful. Maybe we could debate the crafting table and the cartography, not the cartography, the fletching table, most of these have some kind of function and can be pushed with a piston as well, which makes them really cool for a block swapper. So I've come up with an awesome design which you can use five different blocks with. So I've decided to use these five blocks here, but you can use any of these seven blocks and I think there's probably a few more blocks that you can use as well, which has a GUI. So with that in mind, let's show you what we've come up with. So this is the design I've come up with so far. This can be improved with, I know it can. We could also have a vertical one which can go on a wall, but unfortunately this is just flat to the floor for now but yeah it's still a really cool design and with the press of a button you can go from a smithing table to a composter and then from the composter we can go to a loom so say like we want to make some banners we can make some banners then press the button oh i've done with i'm done with my banners i want to do something else so we can start crafting a load of stone and stuff and then after we've crafted a load of stone, well, maybe we need to craft something else. So we've got our crafting table here. And yeah, I think you get the point, really. So you can basically have any five blocks you want, and then we come back to our cart uh, cartography table. Smithing table again, even. I really need to... <laughs> this block's been in there a while, and I still don't know the name of it. So underneath here is the redstone for it. So it's really not precisely compact per se but i would say this is a pretty decent attempt and we're making use of observers as well so why don't we show you how to build this before i show you how to build this i just thought i'd show you how it's built with the floor off and this will give you a good idea on how it actually works so essentially all we really have is a piston feed tape which is timed to move these blocks around so it's a really quite simple concept and it's really quite simple to build so why don't we go over here and i'll show you how to build it so in this chest here are the resources you will need to build this and in all fairness it's not that much so you need about four pistons eight or nine redstone repeaters depending on how you want to power it five observers a sticky piston about 16 or 17 redstone dust a button and also a block blocks to put your redstone on and then underneath are the blocks that i'm using that i want to swap out so we've got a composter a loom a crafting table a stone cutter and also a smithing table so to start off with, I'm going to grab some of this stuff and show you how to build it. So let's go up a few blocks here first. So we've got some room to come with, work with even. And then what we want to do is build our template for the block. So if we go over to here, you could place these blocks in if you wanted to, but for now I'm just going to build a template of these blocks because it will make placing the pistons a lot easier and you'll be able to place them exactly where they are instead of building it from the bottom upwards. So let's say our block, this is the block that we want to be swapping out all the time, which will be this block on the top here. So what we want to do to place our other blocks is to go down here, two blocks, oh, 
like so to the side two blocks and then behind here another two blocks like so so we've got this kind of pattern going on so we've got four blocks in the middle and then one block on the top here which is what we've got here and this will basically just make it easy to place our pistons so the first pistons we want to be placing are the ones that is the one that actually moves this piston up and down which is basically just a sticky piston which goes there on that block there basically so that block will, that sticky piston goes there which moves this block up and down and then what we want is we want a normal piston facing that way so when this block gets pushed down from this sticky piston here this piston will then move these three blocks across so now then that over this side bringing up this space and then we have another piston pushing this block this way there and then this piston will push this block this way and then we have another piston that pushes this this block this way so yeah i could even power these blocks to show you so if we have our block here let's get something to power the piston with so if we power that piston that piston powers and pushes these blocks over here which is what we want then we power this piston which is pu pushes that block there and this piston will push all the blocks over to this side which is where we have another pi one more piston which just goes here which then pushes this block over like so in order for it to come back up with this sticky piston here so that's how that works and all we need to do is power these pistons and the way we do that is with observers facing upwards so the head is down that way so a good way to place these observers is just have a junk block there and then place your observer and get rid of that the piston will power but don't worry about that too much for now because we can always reset the blocks anyway so let's power all of these pistons with an observer right so we've got all of these pistons powered now we there's one observer left and that will power this sticky piston here by the side twice so the reason we do that is so it can be powered to push this block up and also powered to push it down again uh, and we just use this observer here to power it so what we want is we want an observer facing the other way it's a bit tricky to place these but there like so and then that's all our observers gone so all we've got is our redstone repeaters and redstone to put down and also the blocks hi there i'm just popping in to say if you haven't already subscribed yet then what are you doing subscribe it really does help out the channel and also like and leave a comment as well because it really does help this channel out that would help me out a lot so if you would do that that would be greatly appreciated anyway back to the video so the way we're going to be powering this is basically by using repeater timings to update these observers so the way we're going to do that is we're going to start off with powering the observer underneath this sticky piston so let's just place our blocks first and we want to come out two blocks like so and then a block on top like that and then we have a repeater on four ticks like so and then redstone two bits of redstone dust like that then what we want to do is we can power this observer here so we just have three blocks like that then redstone dust repeater on three ticks and then redstone dust there so if we come over to here we've got our repeater here on three ticks and the redstone dust underneath the observer so the next thing we want to do is we just want to power the other four observers which is quite simple so we come out two blocks here and then we want a redstone repeater on four ticks and then leading that into some redstone dust like that then what we want to do is we want to actually have a block on top of this observer like so so we can do that like that and then we want to block underneath this observer there and then we can just ring our redstone dust there and then this has a repeat on three ticks i think it might even be four it's three ticks like that essentially so we've got this shape going on down here and yeah that's basically the same so what we want to do is we want to place our blocks coming around like this 
and then basically underneath this observer and then this observer here coming out along here and then we want to place an extra block there and the reason why we want to place an extra block there is to power this observer we actually need an extra block there sorry so we can have redstone dust there then an observer and then what we want to do is we want to place our redstone dust there then we want a repeater on four ticks then we carry on with our redstone dust so we've got two redstone dust behind here so if we go over to here we've got our repeater on four ticks then two redstone dust here then we got a repeater here on four ticks leading into some redstone there so if we go over to here we can place our repeater on four ticks like so and then we can place our redstone dust leading into this piston and all we need is redstone dust there and a repeater on four ticks there and if we go over to here we've got exactly the same over here so now if we just hook this up to a button so our button will be powering here. We could even put the button there if we wanted to. So if we press our button. Oh, there we go. We've got our block swapped. And then if we press it again, it swaps the other blocks. And if we just change these blocks to the blocks that we wanted to swap. So we've got our loom, we've got our stone cutter, we've got our crafting table. We've also got our smithing table and last but not least we have our composter so this one's going to be tricky to place but not too bad and there we go and there we have it ladies and gentlemen our five block block swapper and this is a really awesome design i really like this design and yeah i could do this pretty much all day so the only thing we can do now is basically just make a floor on this and i would probably suggest using half slabs just so that you can actually tell where the block is that you want to use so i'm just going to put some quartz half slabs down like this just to cover it up like so and then it's flush to the floor then so you don't need to worry about any redstone being hanging out on the walls or anything because it's all flush to the floor and if you wanted to we can bring this button up by just making a simple bit of redstone. So if we have our button here, for example, all we need to do is put some blocks like so, like that, and then we can get rid of that block button and place some blocks there. Then we can have our redstone coming down there, a repeater facing in this way, and then a block there for some redstone. And that is it. And then we place our button there. And there we have it. <laughs> How awesome is that? Oh, this is awesome. I could do this all day. So, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And now you should be able to build this five block block swapper all on your own. So, I really hope that you enjoy this redstone contraption in your own worlds too because it was really fun to build i had a lot of fun doing this and also making this tutorial with that i think i'm going to love you and leave you so thank you very much for watching my name is mighty high if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads i've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching good